Hooray! We're in Goldenrod City still! Because I never want to leave. Look at that freaky name raider. Okay, so we're going to go find Whitney because apparently Whitney is stuck in some stupid realm of stupidity and stupid stupidness that she can't get herself out of and we have to go help her and it's in the radio tower with the shifty looking criminal outside of it but first I decide to play the lottery and you will not believe this I have traded over one Pokemon and this is how excited I got when I won uh, oh I think I won I won oh it matched my Gamar's ID my Magmar's ID <gasps> what did I win what did I win I won a Master Ball oh, no I'm kidding Okay, usually I don't get so excited that I talk to myself, but sometimes you just, you know, you just gotta shout it out. I was just so freaking happy. So here's Whitney. Whitney's sucking at this one game, and the woman is holding her hostage, and she'll, she gets the questions right, and the questions are about, like, can Magikarp learn TMs, and what do you... What do Kurt's balls do and stuff like that? And so you have to like answer the questions and save Whitney. So she goes back to her gym and does her job and she's all like, OMG, thank you. You're the smartest person in the world. I'm like, okay, thanks. And so I had to go out and beat her up. And she doesn't give me the badge. I mean, if this was the anime, she would just be like, oh my gosh, you helped me so much. Here, have a badge. I'm like, thanks. But um, no, that's not how it works. So we are going to appear outside of the gym because we're just that cool. We use teleport. And um, yes, there's music because it's gym, but this gym freaking sucks. I hate it. Okay, so it's a normal type gym, and here's the first trainer, and they all have this ridiculous big hair and big bags. I don't even know what full of them. They have stupid normal type Pokemon, except I like normal type Pokemon. On average, I happen to like them, and I have tea again. I shouldn't have tea because I get so distracted. Yum. Okay, so... There's another Sentry, and I'm just trying to plow through them with Kago because I want to level up my Kago so he gets strong enough to take on the big boss of Whitney because she is so overpowered and stuff like that. But, um, no, so I'm just flame rolling away like there's no tomorrow, and that is good stuff. So I beat the gym lady. And I hate this gym so much, sorry. I just, like, look at it and I hate it. It looks like the inside of a person's stomach that, like, chugged Pepto-Bismol because they were feeling sort of sick but really didn't need to. And, it, ew, ew, God. It's just a disgusting color. So, here's the second lady, and she got some old type Pokemon, also known as Meowth. Oh, my gosh. It's from Team Rocket. So, um... Yeah, and he does a payday. I'm like, what? We're, what? Why are you throwing all that at me? So apparently it's legal to throw money at people. I thought that was illegal. Who do you think I am? So, um, he's throwing his little head coins. I wonder if those are head coins. What do you mean to do with all that? Money on the ground. That is not, that is like a safety hazard. So, little kid's gonna come along and eat one of those coins. What you gonna do about that, meow? He's gonna use growl. Sorry. Um, we have candy, and I have candy, so it's good. And, um, there is Meowth, and he's using his scratch attack. I'm like, no! Um, actually, maybe that was Fury Swipes. Actually, I'm not even paying attention. And that was cut or something, and then he gets a crit, and I'm like, no! So, um, was it? I don't know. Screw that. So, she's like, I lost, I suck, yeah, you do, that's why you work in this gym. It makes no sense. And so down here is a freaking dead end, but I can't tell because this gym is messed up. So, um, I'm done being retarded and not learning about depth and stuff like that. I guess my character has an eye problem. So, here's the last two gym leader peoples, and they got a snubble, and I don't really care, but it's intimidating, so that's annoying, and it's using its rapist face, it's pulling a rapist face on me, and that's sort of freaky, so I just kill it with fire. She's like, oh snap, I lost. I'm like, okay. So I move on to the next person, and she's all like, yeah, I'm blocking you off from this way. There are, like, no dudes in this gym. So, um, she has Jigglypuff, hooray. Gotta love Jigglypuff. I mean, seriously. I wonder if they actually... Hmm. She has three Jigglypuff. What the heck does she do with those Jigglypuff? I mean, I don't know. I'm just like throwing them like marshmallows in your freaking hot cocoa or something. I don't know. That would be disgusting. Don't throw a Pokemon in your hot cocoa. They'd melt and that'd be sick and stuff like that. So, I don't know. It's just what Jigglypuff seems to me. Like a freaking marshmallow. So, except it's miscolored. So, now I'm learning an attack which I discover to be, um... <sighs> defense curl or something useless like that and it takes me ages to find out what it is because I'm being stupid and stuff like that but eventually I do figure out that it's defense curl and I pat myself on the back eventually 
And yeah, I decide not to learn it. Good job, Annie. Don't learn defense curl because it's useless. Come on. Don't learn it. Don't learn it. Okay. So, um, moving right along, we beat that chick, and she's all like, boo-hoo, I'm standing all freaky, and we get to move on to the big boss of Whitney, so we're going up to Whitney, and she's all like, I'm saving my game, because <laughs> I'm so afraid of her, and, <laughs> sorry, I have bad memories, and so Whitney's all like, blah, 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 oh my god, I'm just gonna stand here silently and go on about how normal Pokemon are awesome because that's what they always do. And so there she is. Ooh, isn't she a happy person? And um, I love her sprite animation. It's like, blam, number one. So um, yeah, she leads with the Clefairy and I lead with my Quilava. And I'm like, guess who's gonna win? Me, I'm gonna win. So I go ahead and just fire my whatever and I burn him but it goes ahead and I don't know I get infatuated with this retarded stuff I think I don't know yeah I do by touching it you freaking fall in love with this stupid thing seriously and then it starts to do freaking what's it called solar beam I'm like, no 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 solar beam so I set it on fire and it dies even though seeing it do solar beam would be really funny even though I wanted to be sky attack because seeing fairy do sky attack is really really entertaining but it wasn't, so screw that. And she slides in, being like, here's my cow! I'm like, alright, so this stupid cow falls in love with me now. It's like, seriously, Kego, are your standards that low that you're falling in love with a freaking cow? The cow is drinking milk. It's drinking its own milk, which is creepy. And um, it's like, give that to your children. Your children need it more than you do, stupid cow. So um, freaking Kego is still in love, and he's getting stepped on. It's like, don't you see what she's doing to you? She's stepping on you and getting critical hits. You don't have to put up with these critical hits. I mean, seriously, if you're with someone that's critically hitting you, um, report them to the police. So, <laughs> Kego's still in love and getting stepped on, which is very, very rude. Note how the foot actually has toes and not hooves. What? Because, um, I don't know, apparently now it's a foot. And so, I'm getting all flinched and now freaking Whooper is in love. Whooper? No! How could you? Oh, Whooper is cheating on Kazoi again. And so, getting all stepped on and getting all stepped stepped on again while I was healing Kago because, you know, Whooper sacrificed himself. And now I burned it. I'm like, yes, but it's like bury I'm like, no. And then it's like heal myself. I'm like, heck no. So, um, <laughs> it keeps milk drinking. So I'm pretty much trying to spell it out for PP, whatever it may be. That PP, whatever it may be. <laughs> I made myself laugh. So, and rhyme at the same time. Okay, so, yeah, so I sent him my swab blue, which doesn't give a crap about that stump. Oh, wait, it does. But now I'm trying to get its attack to be low because when that thing starts rollouting, it's gonna like sweep my team like bam, one after the other. So I keep swab blue in and keep doing that little growl thing. It's making its attack lower. So you can see how much a stomp is doing. It's not doing as much. And I have plenty of healing items because that's all I buy. I don't buy anything else. I sacrifice my dinner and my clothing just to buy freaking healing items. That's how hard it is to be a Pokemon trainer. So, um, so Blue wants to roost, and it does, and I'm happy, and, um, I go back into Kago to take a stomp and see that, like, barely did anything that time, so I'm pretty good to go. So now Kago's back in love with the thing. This milk tank is like a freaking... My dog's barking. What I meant to say, this milk tank is a freaking whore, um, <laughs> and it just keeps drinking milk and making all my Pokemon fall in love with it. Jeez, if I only had some female Pokemon up in here, too bad my only female Pokemon is my Ghastly, and, you know, I'm pretty sure Ghastly can't take any of these hits, and, um, because that thing has Scrappy, like, I didn't know that, and it freaking stomped on my Ghastly and killed it, like, the first time I tried to beat this gym. Oh my gosh, did I just say I lost to her? Yeah, I lost to her the first time, and it made me very, very sad. But I didn't level up or anything beforehand, so whatever. So I go back into Ghastly, and it's getting. <laughs> it dies! To like the level 5 level of the, um, the rollout. So, Ghastly, good job. You died. That's all you had to do. So now Swap Blue's starting to get super effectively attacked by this rollout, which is freaking annoying! And, um, it's in love, but it's roosted, so it's all good. I know eventually, um, Spoon is gonna die, so it's gonna cry and go like, Swap Blue, and die. Um, yeah, right now. So, that stupid cow is still out, and I'm gonna set it on fire again. No, it didn't set on fire. Come on, I have to set everything on fire. And so I get hit with rollout, and it's not dead. 
what? And so I have to send in my centric because it's the one thing I have left. And I have to use revive on some of my stuff. And it's like, okay, she healed up. I could have, I don't know, centric died. So <laughs> I send in Kago again, who's at half health because revive. And um, I, I'm just trying to heal up like the rest of my stuff. And it's taking forever and it's not working, it's highly irritating, and I'm clicking on my computer. So, the stupid girl keeps freaking healing her own thing, just let it heal itself, it has milk, right? Stop it. So, I live with 5 HP off of some stupid critical hit, and I'm pretty, I'm doing okay, and then it gets burned, I'm like, yes, finally, I set everything on fire, I set the birds on fire, I set the scyther on fire, I set the cow on fire, I set everything on fire. So I'm really happy and Whitney's like boo hoo hoo I'm such a depressed person and I'm such a sissy oh my gosh I can't believe I lost to that girl who's that girl and so I'm like hey give me my badge and she's like okay fine and so she hands over my badge and I'm like yeah that's what you're supposed to do you're a gym leader and then she gives me some stupid item and call it a day.